I am sorry that you are not feeling well at this minute. Sometimes we do experience shock, even if it is for little things. Sometimes things happen so fast in a direction that is not of our desire. And it throws us into the deep end in terms of emotions, in terms of reactions. And if you are having an interaction with someone else's and that just escalates, could be worse, but equally could be better. And you don't quite comprehend what happened, how it happened and how fast it happened. And it does make you feel totally depleted in energy in shock for what has just happened. And you don't even have the energy, mentally or physically, to grasp, to understand, to comprehend, or to do anything about it. You're totally in a state of shock. no room for positivity, love, excitement, joy, smiling and laughing and equally you cannot even go further down. You're just flat. Perhaps overwhelming. Perhaps the best word is just shock. You don't quite know what to do with yourself. Shall I fight back? Shall I breathe? And you're just in shock. It may be an unusual sensation, or perhaps a familiar one. Perhaps you sit down and you wait for it to pass, you get distracted. If you are feeling in shock, and if something has happened, if you are feeling threatened physically, mentally and emotionally, please remove yourself from the situation and ask for help. Speak with your health professional so that you can be fully supported and those involved. If you are in a state of shock, but um, it's nothing serious, nothing major, just your body, your brain perceiving a threat in this moment, feeling shock perhaps by your reactions and others. And you've gone in a direction that is totally not of what you intend and desire. And um, you're not quite sure what to do. If you go down the road of blaming yourself and others, if you blame others, you feel more indignation and anger and frustration. If you blame the circumstances, you feel powerless because you don't have control or total control. You have some, but not totally. If you blame yourself, you'll feel, you're likely to feel like a failure. It makes you further down.
You might not want to smile and laugh. And you may just want to be. Just be as it is. And perhaps your thoughts are the kind of, what's the point? I don't see the point anymore. I give up. I don't care anymore. Those thoughts might feel hopeless, helpless. You might even consider, I just want to not exist anymore. What's the point of all this suffering? What's the point of just soldier, soldiering on with suffering and not even one moment of joy, of well-being, of feeling good? What's the point of all this? You might start questioning, what's the point? And whatever way you turn, all you see is gloom and doom. You might wish, even wish to just, I'd rather die than have to experience this continued suffering. And it feels so real and so heavy and so dark. And you don't see any little bit of light of hope or hope or interest. And it doesn't feel good. If you can, if you're feeling like this, if you can, see if you can gather a little bit of momentum just a little effort to start with. Either have a rest or sleep or distract yourself with something positive for a moment while your body gathers a little bit of energy. Or even better, put your boots on, put your shoes on. Your boots will be more comfortable. Put a warm coat and just go into nature. Go for a walk until your heart's desire. Just walk and walk and walk and walk. It will do two things. It will allow your mind to process your thoughts and just make peace. You're not trying to be positive. You're not trying to be optimistic. You're not trying to laugh. You're not trying to smile. You're just simply it is what it is. You're not trying to escape. You're having a little walk because the walk will help the body release tension and release the cortisol, which is a stress hormone. And then in turn will be water with a bit of feeling lighter, feeling easier, feeling relief. So the body has this natural mechanisms to protect you by releasing cortisol to give you energy to fight something or to run away. But it also has a natural mechanism to feel better once the threat has passed. And many times is a perceived threat. Perhaps we didn't behave in the best way that we wanted to or someone else's. But we are humans. And no one gets it right at all times. And perhaps you don't want to excuse things anymore. Perhaps you don't want to excuse and tolerate and accept anymore. And you have the right not to tolerate. You have, if it doesn't feel good, you have the right to remove yourself, to speak up, to do something about it. But let's think for a moment. If you wish to no longer live, to end your suffering, physically, in all senses, so you cease to exist, 
Perhaps there will be the end of your suffering because you no longer have a body. However, you are imparting suffering on those that stay behind. And there are those that you don't care. And there are those that truly care for you. And there are those that need you. Some are in your life right now. And some will come into your life at different stages of your existence. By choosing to simply switch the button, disappearing, giving up on life. You are missing an opportunity. And truly, while you might feel that you want to prove someone and show them the suffering, what have you achieved? Nothing. It's not honourable. And those that don't care for you, once you're gone, you're gone. But those that care for you will be feeling your suffering and your departure and the tragic ways that perhaps you chose to do it. And we all have a conscious and inflicting suffering is not one that our healthy mind wishes to inflict, wishes to do. So, while a minute ago the option of ending everything might have seemed like a solution, once we consider the positives and the negatives, it doesn't feel like a good solution anymore. I might end my suffering, but I'll be causing it a greater suffering. And I do not wish to cause suffering on those that I love. I don't want to wish my suffering to show others, see how much I'm suffering. You never paid attention. That's not a healthy solution. Equally, staying in the same situation doesn't feel good. And in this moment, with my perceiving, there's no solution. Can't continue, and you cannot see yourself being able to cope or to or act in order to improve or change your life. And then you see it as no ending, no solution. And you don't know which way to turn. Can't continue anymore. Cannot sustain the suffering. And you cannot end. So what shall we do? What shall we do? Continue through your journey, walking. Process all those thoughts, whatever comes to mind. And perhaps you might feel that you are sad. Behind all of that freezing and those thoughts, you might feel sad. And just acknowledge, I feel sad. I feel very, very sad. And allow your tears to roll down your eyes if they need being, if they want to. It's a natural mechanism to help the body release cortisol and feel a little bit better. And just cry your loss and your grief and all the energy and the effort you made and just in vain and all the suffering that you are feeling. Just validate. It is true. It is a struggle. And no matter what others say or think or try to do, it is your suffering. Regardless if you're comparing, don't compare. It is how you feel in this moment. Let's validate. You're not trying to change. Just simply opening the door. Allow it to you to sit with it. I feel sad. And I don't want I don't and <laughs> sorry. 
and I want to cry and then allow that cry to wash over you you're not even trying to feel better you're just simply going through the motion the emotion, the feeling, the body you're not trying to be hopeful it's just what it is, just making peace you're not trying to find the solutions just making peace just becoming present it is what it is and just allow the words come to your mind it is what it is it is what it is I'm feeling sad I'm frozen hopeless it is what it is I don't know the answers it is what it is Carry on on your journey of walking. Perhaps just look down or up or across or any way you like. Not particularly making any effort to change your body. Just simply making peace. It is what it is. And carry on walking. It is what it is. I'm not finding solutions. I give up. It is what it is. Carry on on your journey and um, allow the body to call for you. Because you will. Because when you release that resistance of trying to change, when you release the focus of the future and the past, you're releasing the past, you're releasing the minute before releasing what has just happened it is what it is and you're also letting go of the future how to do it and how to solve it and how this will get, always be like this just cutting that cord right now you are focusing in this moment it is what it is in this moment it is what it is it is what it is. And you're making peace with this moment. It is what it is. You're not trying to change. You're not trying to force. Just simply making peace with your loss, with your grief, with your despair, with your sadness. It is what it is. And hopefully, as you make peace with this moment, with your feelings, you'll start feeling a little bit of relief. And notice the little shift. Notice the nuance of that tiny little bit of release of resistance let that be the momentum the momentum that starts the direction of relief feeling better leave the answers for another day make sure that you keep hydrated focus your energy Instead of trying to focus things and your mind, just use the little energy you have to give yourself some nourishment, healthy proteins, complex carbohydrates, vegetables, fruit, because all of those things will give you the energy, the antioxidants vitamins, the minerals that your body needs to heal and repair itself to give you energy and then find a place where you can have some peace to allow your body away perhaps from people unless you know the interactions will be positive and uplifting if there will be conf if there's conflict just remove yourself until you feel a bit more stable until you feel a bit stronger 
because if you're not strong enough, you will either will go on to the attack or you'll feel victimized and you'll feel like everyone is picking on you and not understanding and supporting. And that makes it even worse. So give yourself a little permission to have a moment for yourself. Find a spot in the woods or in nature where you can just contemplate and be there with your thoughts. Because nature is a great healer and a great uplifter and charges you nothing. Make sure you are hydrated with healthy. Just water is enough. Healthy drinks, water is enough. And then try to get a, a good night's sleep as best as you can and worry not if you are having a bit of insomnia. If you are on your last legs everything might be a little bit all over the place but every little rest to your body you can give your body. The body knows what to do. The cells in the body know how to heal and repair themselves. You just need to get out of the way and once the body feels more rested more relief, calm, you'll feel better. And in times, just trust, just go, I give up and I trust, I let it go and I trust that the solutions will come to me at the pace that I need. Also know that there are people that you can ask for support. If you don't know what to do, whether you need help or not, speak with your health professional. Or speak with a trusted friend or someone that knows a little bit. So that they can help you direct in solutions that will support you. But just trust that sleep make you feel better and if you're struggling with sleep if you're struggling with insomnia that's a big piece of work but let's just take one step at a time and right now we're just making peace making peace to find the relief and also remember giving up might feel good as an idea, giving up on life, but then you'll cause suffering. So not a good option, not a good solution. Number two, if you had all this suffering, truly something good must come out of it. Just think for a moment. I didn't go for all of this suffering. Just say that to yourself, for nothing. Something good. I choose to believe that something good will come out of this suffering. I don't know what it is, but I'd rather go though in that direction. I don't know what it is. We don't know what it is. But let's trust and believe that something good will come out of this challenge, this suffering. So let's just leave it in the hands of the universe. Let's relax and trust. I don't know and I'll make peace with the uncertainty and the unknown. And I choose to trust. Right now the only thing I'm capable of is to make peace with what is. Instead of resisting. Instead of trying to change. And when my body feels better and when my mind feels better, then I do the next logical step. And I do not need to worry in this moment. And if needed, I'll have the courage to ask for help. Right now, I'm simply accepting what is. My feelings, my emotions, my doom and gloom. It's not good. It's not bad, it is what it is. All challenges do pass. 
and this too shall pass. This is a temporary feeling, even though it feels like this. It feels like I've been feeling like this forever. It feels real because I'm feeling it in this moment. It is what it is. And I make peace with what is. <laughs> I hope that you are feeling it a little bit more hopeful. At least you are. I hope that you are find a little relief. Ask help. Speak with your health professional if you are struggling. Even if it's just for reassurance. You're doing your best. I know you are. You're doing the best that you can do in this moment. I know that too. And it does feel big and heavy. I know that too. Don't beat yourself up for feeling those feelings. Don't beat yourself up for not for things not changing, not being better. It is what it is. And where you are is where you're meant to be in this moment. And trust the good things will come out of this. You got this. I know you can do this. Even you cannot see it, even if you cannot feel it, just leave it in the hands of the universe. Let go and trust. Ask for help if you need to. And then when you feel better, you look at the next logical step, but not now. Having the walk is already a good solution. And if you can, let's breathe into the belly. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more breath. And slowly out. I have other videos on breathing if you need to help support your body with either calming down or energizing a little bit. <laughs> Bye for now. A lot of love for my heart. <laughs> These two shall pass. A faith and trust, even though. Can't, you don't feel it in this moment, you'll be okay. <laughs> bye, bye, bye. <laughs>